Um. Damn, I hope that'd be an easy fix. I was hoping that that <laughs> I was hoping that that white connector there would maybe come away. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. But I think this is going to be beyond me, unfortunately, which is a shame. I was hoping to do a nice video of me taking apart this Panasonic HC V10, fixing it, putting it back together and going, yes, look at that, sorted. But alas, nay. Oh, is there a screw anywhere that I've missed? Because it seems like that's a trouble because these are, the way these are made, I think you obviously have to take that off before you can get to this and it all fits together in a certain order and I'm just trying to get to this little part, but I don't want to, I don't want to break it. I don't want to snap anything. I don't like seeing cameras broken. Um. Hmm. I think I'm going to admit defeat on this one. Why that there's a little door there which backs onto that connector. We shall see that part there plugs into that part there. snap anything. It's nothing worse than taking something apart and then you think you've almost got it open and then you feel and hear that snap of plastic or whatever and then you realise that's it. I've knackered it. <laughs> point of no return. I think before I go to the point of no return with this I think I might I might just admit defeat with this one unfortunately. Well at least I found out what's behind that anyway. But why, why there's a door behind that when you can't actually get to it from there? You can't get to that connector from there, I really don't know. But, I don't know, maybe I can have that vain hope that if I put it all back together again, it might suddenly work for no apparent reason. Let's, let's put it back together again. Oh, well, I'll defeat, unfortunately, on that one. That's a shame. Yeah, you do have to be careful of these ribbons. Very fragile. Oh, that's annoying, that. It's annoying, that. But it doesn't seem to be anything... There doesn't seem to be an obvious problem here that I, that I could fix anyway. There might, you know... A more knowledgeable person than I would be able to strip that down and look at all the electronics and know exactly what the problem would be. But, like I say, I don't have... I don't have those skills, unfortunately. Look at all those screws I've taken out. That shows the power of a ma magnetized uh, magnetization of this. Right, let's try and put them back in the order they came in. Let's put those screws back in. Oh, that's annoying. So, what should I title this video? Panasonic HC V10 fix epic fail, but then that would kind of give away the the ending that no, I couldn't fix it after all. But you never know. Just taking the screws out, taking it apart, putting it back together and putting the screws back in might have fixed it for no apparent reason. Or it's probably beyond repair. Or like I say, someone with more knowledge, electronics knowledge than me, might be able to fix it. So this will probably end up in the camcorder and electrical graveyard under my bed. <laughs> I mean, what I was hoping to do was just power it up so I could get into the maintenance menu, which is a, a secret menu, which 
this camcorder has. If you've got one of these and you want to get into the secret menu, turn it on, and whilst turning it on, use the um, the zoom rocker lever. Push it. Have it pushed to wide, and I think you either hold. I think you hold down manual and the lever like that for three seconds, or the um, optical image stabilization button. You hold them down for three seconds after you've turned it on and that will take you into a, a secret maintenance menu I've discovered. I might try that with one of my working standard definition Panasonic cameras in this uh, the SD range before this one came out. But also, as you can see, there's a bit of a scuff mark there, so this might well have been dropped. So dropping camcorders is never a good idea. So that could have caused, well caused the problem, which is this has, which unfortunately is beyond me to fix. So unfortunately the repair of this Panasonic HC V10 was beyond me, but I'll keep it for spares and repairs as they say. That's the, that's the words I was looking for on eBay. You often see these for sale, uh, cameras and stuff for sale as spares or repairs, don't you? Um, the reason given, oh, we didn't have a charger for it, but if, as you saw in my other one of my other videos, you have a universal battery charger, you can charge this and any other type of battery. Didn't put that door back in, did I? Oh, I've got another screw left as well. Where does that go? Uh, what? <laughs> Doesn't always happen. You put something back together and there's a screw left over. Oh well. There we go. Oh well, I'll keep that in here. Keep it in this little bag of bits. You can see the remnants of the things I've taken apart. Put the little mystery hatch back on there. He said? Oh yeah, that's the way. I think, is that right? What am I doing? There we go, mystery hatch back on. Damn. No. Oh, I have tried plugging this into the mains, by the way, with a uh, USB charger, but it still doesn't work. So, unfortunately, there we have it, I have a broken Panasonic HC V10. This time, buying something as spares or repairs didn't pay off. Okay, slight up, a little update here. Um, since taking this apart and putting it back together again, um, I've plugged it into the mains with a uh, USB, yeah, one of them. Going into that now. Before, when I took before I took it apart, when I got this, I tried plugging it in um, to a charger using the USB, and it didn't work. Um, it didn't even charge. Nothing happened. But since taking it apart and putting it back together again, it seems to be uh, charging which looks like a good sign, because like I say, that wasn't, nothing was happening before. So what I'm hoping is, maybe if I try turning it on while it's in this mode, I may be able to get into the secret menu uh, I was telling you about, the maintenance menu, because there's no reset button on this. So I was hoping to try and at least get it to turn on quick in, uh, long enough to get into that menu and try and reset the factory you know, reset it to a factory default, which might hopefully get it to work. But it could, like I say, it could be beyond repair, but this is looking a bit more hopeful because 
it is actually doing something now it's plugged into the mains and that's only charging the battery but it wasn't even doing that before so let's turn it on and see what happens nothing <laughs> bah and in fact you see the um, charge light has gone out hmm okay well I'll carry on I'll try fiddling a bit more but that's annoying isn't it oh well as it stands I have not been able to repair this Panasonic HC V10 now I didn't want to end on a downer with me not being able to fix this HCV10 so I wanted to talk about the secret menu now I call it a secret menu it's a service menu and what I was hoping to do was get enough power to this to be able to get the LCD screen to work and to get into that secret menu that service menu because that might tell me what was wrong with it but Here's a uh, Panasonic SDR H86, which, as you can see, they're pretty much exactly the same camcorder, except obviously this one's got the uh, hard disk drive and it's uh, standard definition. But cosmetically, the actual build of the of the uh, you know the outside of the camcorders are exactly the same. You know, the same uh, same zoom levers and photo buttons and manual and. Uh, optical image stabilizer pretty much exactly the same except they obviously put HD chips and stuff inside this one but the service menu seems to work for all of these type of Panasonic camcorders so if you want to get into the uh, service menu I'll show you how but obviously do so at your own risk because <laughs> um, it's a menu that you're only meant to access if you if you know what you're doing in servicing the camcorder. But what you do is you turn it on, you push the zoom lever all the way to wide whilst holding down the IA manual button and at the same time pushing this menu button. So let's give it a go. You hold it down for about three seconds and then here we go, it takes you into this menu. Now this menu, if there's something wrong with a camcorder, it should tell you what's what's up with it. At the moment it just says no and if you push on it, if you push the enter button it gives you a choice of no or yes but as I'm not a qualified Panasonic camcorder engineer I have no idea what that means. Because if you push the menu button it just takes you back to normal recording. Yeah, yeah that's another point you have to have it to access the service menu you have to have it on the recording setting so not on play but on the red camcorder setting. And you hold it for three seconds and you are in. Um, and yeah, if you push it onto yes, it beeps. And I've no idea what that's doing. Oh, here we are. It's gone into this, this menu, which looks like it's set the camcorder. I think it's resetting. It's basically resetting everything back to factory resets. Either that, or it's about to explode. <laughs> but I think that is actually just um, resetting the camcorder. Back to the factory defaults, which is what I was hoping to do with the HCV10, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Um, now I think this just needs a bit of time to do what it's doing. I think it's probably resetting the hard drive. I don't think I've got anything recorded on there, which is just as well. I don't know what's going on, but it's also turned on the LED light, so it's either going berserk or it's just resetting and reformatting the hard drive and doing all kinds of weird things, so I don't know. So that's the point. If you're going to access this service menu, be careful because you could end up completely resetting your camcorder and losing anything you've got on your hard drive if you've got a hard drive camcorder, um, which is a good reason probably not to access this service menu unless you know what you're doing because I don't and now my camcorder's going berserk <laughs> so be careful and uh, only access this if you know what you're doing or if you don't mind losing all the data on your hard drive and resetting your camcorder which I hope is what this is doing anyway uh, 
I can't seem to stop this by pushing the menu button or any of the buttons. I'll try doing what I did to access the menu in the first place with the zoom, the menu on the menu. I'll hold them down. Ah, right, that's got me into this menu here. So there's all these different watch uh, dump, <laughs> all these different menu options here, which should only really be accessed by a professional <laughs> Panasonic engineer, I would say. Let's see what it's, let's see, what's it see viewer, what it say for that. Ah, right, see, look, it tells you all about, no idea what that's all about, but that's all very nice. those buttons are together again, see if that changes anything. Yeah, well before this camcorder just explodes and a huge spring comes out or something or uh, <laughs> something else bizarre happens, I think I'm going to end this uh, video here. Um, but yeah, like I say, if you do access this menu, you do so at your own risk. Don't blame me. <laughs> So there we have it, the interesting secret menus of Panasonic camcorders. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.